Hello, I'm Steve Johnson, the President and CEO of Health First, your not-for-profit and locally operated healthcare integrated delivery network. You may well be asking, what's an integrated delivery network and why is that important to me? Both are good questions, and if you'll allow me a couple of minutes to set the stage by describing the current state of economics of healthcare, I'll share with you what an integrated delivery network is and why it's important to your personal health and wellness and to the well-being of our community. Healthcare simply costs too much. In the United States, the cost for healthcare of all types consumes nearly 18% of our gross domestic product. Put another way, 18 cents out of every dollar generated by our entire economy goes to pay for health care. By comparison, the next highest health care spend by an industrialized country is France at 11%. The size of our health care spend is made even more significant by the size of our national debt, which currently stands at $17 trillion. A staggering number. You might well wonder what is driving these high and escalating health care costs. The answer and solution lies in the economic design of healthcare today. Since the modern era of medicine began following World War II, most healthcare services for physicians, hospitals, and others has been paid for on what is called a fee-for-service basis. This means that physicians, hospitals, and other providers get paid for doing things to and for patients. Running tests, performing operations, admitting people to hospitals, performing MRIs, and the like. The more that is done, the more that is paid. The result is a system that focuses on helping people after they are sick and encourages the use of healthcare services. To illustrate, consider the following. It is very clear in our current system how we pay a cardiologist to treat you if you have a heart attack. However, few meaningful ways currently exist to pay that cardiologist to work with you to prevent the heart attack from ever occurring. As you can see, we don't really have a healthcare system in America. We have a sick care system. We need to turn that around. We need to move to a model that focuses increasingly on prevention and wellness. As we do so, health will improve and the cost of healthcare will go down. Health First has a plan and is actively on the journey to convert ourselves to a wellness and prevention focused organization. Our plan is called Health First 2020. Let me explain. The guiding principle of Health First 2020 is to link healthcare and prevention services into a seamless continuum of care. This is called an Integrated Delivery Network, or IDN. The IDN links care services and providers, like our physicians, fitness centers, clinics, outpatient services, urgent care centers, hospitals, and others, into a unified system that shares information and resources to get people to the right care at the right time for the right duration, no more, no less. Our goals for the IDN and for Brevard are lofty, but achievable. We are goaling Health First to perform in the top 10% nationally in safety, quality of care, customer experience, and cost efficiency. The measures we are using are objective, and we compare ourselves to other health systems across the country. We will not be average. We will be exceptional. Health First and the communities we serve are very fortunate that the previous leadership and board of our organization had the courage in 1996 to start the health plan and the fortitude to continue with it to the present day. Many hospitals and health systems started health insurance plans in the mid-1990s and many failed. Of those that remained, many were sold to larger managed care companies in the 2000s. Now virtually all of those hospitals and health systems wish they had a local health plan. Why? As a locally operated health insurance company, Health First Health Plans will serve as the organizer of the integrated delivery network I described a moment ago. The health plan will work with the IDN to ensure that care begins to focus on prevention and wellness, and when care is needed, that it occurs swiftly and in exactly the right clinical setting. By doing so, we can work to flip the basic economic model of healthcare from sick care to what it should be, prevention, wellness, and focused services, precisely when needed. As we ensure more people with Health First Health Plans, it will give us an increasing ability to pay physicians and other parts of the care system to prevent illness and to promote wellness. Continuing with my previous illustration, 
we can create payment models that will enable the cardiologist to prevent heart attacks. Now that will be healthcare. For the fourth consecutive year, Health First Health Plans received an overall plan rating of four and a half stars out of five from the Federal Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services for our Medicare Advantage plans. We rank number two in Florida for both our Medicare Advantage plans and commercial HMO plans by the NCQA, the National Accrediting Agency for Health Insurance Plans. And we received an excellent accreditation status from the NCQA, which is the highest level possible. As Health First Health Plans continues to grow and focus on prevention and wellness, the integrated delivery network will produce world-class outcomes, show increasing emphasis on wellness and prevention, and will be relentlessly focused on increasing affordability. Health First will lead our community into an era of sustainable, world-class healthcare and prevention. We have discussed the economic factors that have led us to this point in the evolution of healthcare in America, and I've also shared with you our strategy and commitment to create a world-class and sustainable integrated delivery network using Health First Health Plans as the organizer of care. I'll now share with you the status of some of the other components that make up the Health First IDN. Let's begin with our hospitals. Our integrated delivery network offers four excellent hospitals to serve our community. Health First Cape Canaveral, Health First Homes Regional Medical Center, Health First Palm Bay, and Health First Vieira. Within these hospitals, we offer state-of-the-art care in such important clinical areas as services for and treatment of conditions associated with the heart, treatment of stroke, maternity and neonatal care, robotic and other minimally invasive surgery, and orthopedics, to name but a few. In addition, we are Brevard County's only level two trauma center, complete with first flight helicopter and 24-7 on-site trauma specialist. Last year, we were blessed to welcome 3,400 babies into the world. We serve more than 155,000 people in our emergency rooms and transported 580 people on our first flight helicopter in need of time-sensitive trauma or other emergency care. We touched the lives of hundreds of thousands of people last year in our hospital-related services. The Health First Medical Group consists of over 250 physicians and other clinicians in primary care as well as many specialties. Our medical group grew to that number in 2013 when MEMA agreed to join us. The synergies between the Legacy Health First Physicians Group and MEMA, the two largest medical groups in our county, have created a deep and talented multi-specialty group that can support people with a vast array of care needs. The Health First Medical Group has locations of various sizes throughout the county, which together served more than 117,000 patients in 2013 alone. We are proud of the trust you have shown in our medical group. Unlike many hospitals and health systems across the country, Health First has shown a historical commitment to wellness as evidenced by our four pro-health and fitness centers located across the county. At pro-health and other locations, we offer education and fitness as well as individual coaches and classes when desired. Over 45,000 pro-health members made over 1.3 million visits to our various locations last year. Now that shows a community's commitment to wellness, and we want to see it grow. Our Health First Aging Services are dedicated to improving the health and well-being of older adults by increasing the availability of high-quality geriatric care across the continuum of care. Our senior care and geriatric services have been helping seniors for over a decade through our clinics and programs, including specialty geriatric and primary care clinics, educational programs, memory disorder clinics, in-home monitoring services, and resources for families and caregivers. Health First also has an extensive community-based network of services, such as diagnostics, outpatient surgery, home care, and hospice, including our beautiful William Childs Hospice House. We are able to provide the most appropriate and affordable treatments for you and your family. I would now like to take a couple of minutes to also make you aware of some of the other ways in which Health First gives back to our community, in addition to the health and wellness services we directly provide. We have partnered with the Brevard Health Alliance to support their efforts to provide health and dental services to persons in our community with minimal means to pay for care. 
Each year, Health First provides the Brevard Health Alliance with $4.5 million in support and in-kind donations per year. Health First support directly contributes to the wonderful work done by BHA to care for the underserved in our community. Similarly, Health First has renewed our partnership with the Florida Department of Health for three additional years in sponsoring an adult dental clinic for low-income patients. In addition to the obvious benefit of dental services, improved dental health also has a strong and positive impact on the overall health of the persons who receive these services. In addition, in this last year, Health First completed our nearly $2 million commitment to Eastern Florida State College to expand its nursing education program and to support direct clinical training for their students in our hospitals. Health First also supports the health of our community by providing care to all persons who come to us with emergent needs, regardless of their ability to pay. In total for 2013, counting all contributions we make to other organizations and our direct charity and uncompensated care, Health First provided $111 million of community benefit to Greater Brevard. Health First, with our team of more than 7,500 associates, 1,600 affiliated physicians, and numerous community partners, is working tirelessly to positively impact the well-being of Brevard and to provide for a sustainable, state-of-the-art, integrated delivery network for our community far into the future. Thank you for taking the time to view this video.